It's a little easier than the, the isosceles triangle problem. So, in this problem, all they want is give me the equation. We give you two points, you give me the equation. So again, flip it. Guys, guys, flip it. I got negative 4 over 16, y over x. Negative 3 over 8. And then smack it like they said. <laughs> so that's minus and minus, right? That is our slope. Okay? So remember, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, right, is equal to m, or the delta y over delta x. Okay, we're going to do this a lot in calculus. A lot. Calculus is all about slopes. Okay? All right, so delta y over delta x. Okay, so what is negative 4 minus minus? That's a plus. So negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Eight, uh, 16 minus 8 is 8. So that's negative 1 8. Now, we need to find the slope. Uh, we need to find the the b, right? So we grab one of these. I don't care which. These numbers are smaller, so let's grab those. Remember, x and y. So y equals mx plus b. So I got y is negative three equals m, which is negative one eight times x, which is eight over one plus b. Now uh, here, this one turned out pretty easy because the 8's cancel. So I get negative 3 equals negative 1 plus b. So then I add 1 and I get negative 2 equals b. Once I have b and I have m, right, then I have y equals x, whereas my m is negative 1, 8, and my b is minus 2. And that's the equation of a line. Okay? Again, let's do the same thing. Okay? And this time I'll do each step in its own color, since we've done this a lot of times with multiple colors. So we'll do it each step in its own color. And that is, but first, if we want a line that's perpendicular to this one, we have to figure out what this slope is, right? So the first thing first is I need to move the x. So I got negative 6y equals negative 3x plus 18, or in other words, minus 3x minus 3x, right? And then I need to divide by negative 6, divide by negative 6, divide by negative 6. Everybody on the block gets the paper. So, we're going to come up with y is equal to 1 half x, and then that looks like a minus 3. Okay? Now the only thing I care about is slope. M, right? So, M parallel is one half. But M perpendicular is what? Negative two over one. You have to flip it so it's the opposite inverse. Okay? That's the key. Now, I want to go through this point. Okay? So I'm going to circle that and I'm going to plug it into my equation. What equation? The y equals mx plus b equation. Okay? So, what's y? Oh, 20. What's m? Oh, negative 2. What's x? Oh, 12. And then b? Well, we're about to find out. This is really negative 24, so I'm going to add 24. I'm going to add 24, so I get 44 equals B. Once I have B and M, then I got Y equals X, whereas 
my slope is negative 2, and my B is plus 44. And there I go. The slope, or the equation of a line that's perpendicular to this one, goes through this point. Questions? Is that negative 2? Negative 2x? Yes, negative 2x. Yeah. Cool.